understanding the settings on your bot. So if we look across the top here, we can see that we're trading with USTD with cake back to USTD. And if you hover your mouse over these icons, you'll get this pop up. You can click that and that will take you over to the blockchain for that particular token. The next thing we've got here is the name. When you set up your robot, that's the name that you give. This is only for your information. Down here, we've got the trading pair. So it says cake to USTD. You've got this cog here, which is if you click that, it opens up the bot settings so that you can edit them. Moving across the screen in the top right hand corner here, this tells you whether the bot is active or inactive. Right now, this particular bot is active. If I want to switch it off, I just toggle that across, put it back on. Down below, it's going to show me what type of bot this is. This is a DEX bot, which means it's a decentralized trading robot. This particular one is traded with PancakeSwap. Coming down a little bit further, you'll have the number of the bot. So this one says hash 84. And then next to that number, you'll see this icon. If you click on that, that will open up the trading chart on Dex Screener for this trading pair. If you come down a little bit further, you'll see the wallet address, which is your MetaMask wallet that is actually connected to this robot. Here you will see how many transactions the bot's done and what the ROI is so far for this particular bot. And this one is 83.9801%. Here is the total profit that you've made for this particular bot and it will give you a number in USTD. And then we come to this panel down here. You can see at the moment there's six lots, so that means there's six trades outstanding. Here will tell you how much of the token it's bought. So this one's bought 24.4 cake. This one will give you how much the robot is spent so far to date with the open lots. So that six lots adds up to 90.13 USTD. This one here is giving you the average price. So it's taking all of those buys and it's giving you an average price of what it's cost to buy each one of those trades. This one here is the profit level. So this is saying that when the price of this particular token, the cake token in this case, reaches 2.260382, that will be the trigger point for the bot to take profit. And then down here, you'll see that the robot is telling you what the price of the token is right now. So it's telling you right now, the price of the token is 2.19. So as you can see, the take profits will not be triggered until it gets to 2.26. Coming over to the far right here, you'll see that there's a magnifying glass. If you click on that, that will open up this pop-up and it will show you all the trades that the robot's done so far. And if you look here, there's a red triangle and the word errors. So if you've got any problems with your bot, those errors will show up in this tab. Hope that gives you a better understanding of how the settings work on that front panel of your bot.